What's up everybody, it's Super Small Chibi Wolf here and today I'm going to be talking about Sony, Nintendo, crossplay in general. And also Xbox, but I mostly have a I, I have a PS4 and Switch, so that's why I put a thumbnail like that. But moving on from that. Sony, you finally did it. You finally broke your wall. You finally accepted the future of gaming and you accepted to do crossplay. Now Sony, like, okay, give credit where credit's due, don't get me wrong, but, you know, that's like saying, you know what, you stopped, that's like saying to someone, okay, man, you, you know, you stopped being an asshole, but in the past you were really, you know, you were a big asshole, you know what I mean, and annoying, so, you know, yeah, some credit there, you know, that's how Sony was, you know, they were a little bit mean, but then... Yeah, they they just broke down their wall and said, you know what? Fine, here's your crossplay. And I believe it's out in today, I don't know. The news broke yesterday. So I think it was yesterday. But yeah, uh, moving on from that. Um yes, yeah, Sony crossplay. In my opinion, I think the crossplay is an interesting thing, you know, because you know, seeing the gaming industry in a whole, as a whole, you know what I mean? Like, throughout the years, you know, they had, like, for example, you know, which is the better console, you know? Like, uh, for example, random PS2, uh, they had the Xbox. I think Sega's last attempt was the Dreamcast, but that came out in 99, and uh, the PS2. Yeah, it's more like a, I wouldn't call it, it's more like a PS1 era, because it came out in 99, or would that count as a PS2 era? console i don't know but moving on from that that's um N nintendo and microsoft you know they they were open about that cross play you know they were the two big ones who you know started like console wise i don't know about like pc you know with other you know like this pc company whatever i, I don't i don't do that but console wise nintendo and xbox did it and then sony they were tight but they broke them, you know, they, they they penetrated them and now they're not tight no more, you know what I mean? So Sony, congratulations, you have done it. Now, moving on from that, let's talk more. Now, does this mean, will, you know, Nintendo, Sony, and Microsoft have an exclusive crossplay game and not allow PC? Or will they allow PC? You know, because let's be honest, right? Say if they have a fallen out, right? And maybe the companies are like, you know what? The PC, you know, the PC, yeah, um, I, I, don't, I don't think so, dude, like, let's just have the, let's just have one game just for our consoles, and then the PC people have to buy one of our consoles, you know, and then, you know, that's what I could see happening in the game industry, because, you know, sometimes, you know, Sony, Nintendo, and Xbox, they don't learn their lessons, for example, you know, when PS4, you know, Sony, um, you know, they, for example, the Wii U, they had, you know, the beginning of the PS3, Xbox had the beginning of the Xbox One. You know, you know, history comes back sometimes, so, you know, you need to be aware, you know, you don't just think, oh, they're doing something great, you know. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to be negative all the way, but, you know, what comes around goes around a lot of times in the gaming industry and the movie industry and etc. You know, any industry. And uh, even people in general, you know, sometimes. But so you need to, you know, be like, you know what? Accept. You know, they did good. Applause. But keep it up, man. Keep it up. Now, what would be real good is if Sony and Microsoft be like, you know what? Nintendo, you you pretty cool. What's the, what's the next advice? And then Nintendo be like, twenty dollars a year. Okay, boom, PlayStation Plus, 20, PlayStation to play online, $20 a year. Now, if Sony follows Nintendo that way, now, oh, you're going to get more fucking applause than Sony. Because that would be great. You know, $20, in my opinion, let's be honest, man. I think no one can disagree with me when I say this, but paying online, pay to play, whatever the hell, that's just fucking bullshit, annoying, and that shit should be free. We already buying you consoles, so you should give us free you know, like, play online. I, Xbox is the one who started that. I know for sure, the 360. I remember my friend telling me that, and I remember I, I even had one at one point, but then I didn't like it. MW3, maybe it was some... I don't know, that, it was that and Halo I had, so Halo was good. MW3, eh, you know. But 
it was okay. I mean, it was okay. But moving on from that, ladies and gentlemen, tell me in the comments what you think about this. Now, me personally, I don't play Fortnite. You know, I, I don't. The building and sniping and. Uh, for, no, man. It's annoying. You know. But moving on from that, uh, what else? Uh, yeah, man, hopefully when the, they have, like, I don't know, um, some other game that's coming out in all three consoles, we could I could go with my. I'd be like, yo, dude, get on your Xbox, get on your Sue. PS4 or Switch, whatever console he wants to use, and then I could get in I don't know, my Switch or PS4, and we could play, you know what I mean? So, nice fun time. So, Sony, congratulations, Nintendo, Microsoft, you finally busted that nut over here, and uh, yeah, with that being that, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and tell me which of the three consoles do you have, or you PC player, and also, do you play Fortnite, or what games do you play? With that being that, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, peace.